happy morning children today i am going to explain the chapter theory of cost so we have to know the meaning of cost what for we need the meaning of cost because to find out the profit we need how to find out the profit profit equals to profit equals to revenue minus cost okay so for that purpose to now find out the amount of profit we have to know the value of revenue as well as we have to know the value of cost so first we have to know the meaning of cost cost means everybody knows it is the total expenditure incurred by a producer to produce a particular commodity the cost will be included the expenditure incurred by a producer to produce a particular commodity so which type of expenditures will be there one is explicit cost another is implicit cost so if we break up total cost total cost it is explicit explicit cost plus implicit cost implicit cost so we have to know the meaning of explicit cost the expenditure incurred by the producer on hiring factor services from outside suppose i am a producer i am hiring laborers from outside i am going to employ the laborers in the production process that is why i have to give them wages and salaries so in this case wages and salaries will be known as explicit cost the expenditure incurred on the factors which will be hired from outside another one is implicit cost what is the meaning of implicit cost suppose i am rendering my service in the production process i am not going to hire any factors from outside so what will happen i don't have to pay any money to the outsider the money will be with me the money will be kept with me that is known as implicit cost suppose i am giving my labor service and in return i am not paying wages and salaries to other person whatever wages and salaries i will give to other person that will be with myself that estimated value suppose if i hire labor i have to give 50000 salary so i can say rupees 50000 when i will render my service in itself in the production process so that expenditure 50000 i am not giving to the outsider it will be kept to me the estimated value estimate i have to estimate the value how if i employ one member how much i have to pay in this way i will estimate so that is known as implicit cost so the sum total of explicit cost and implicit cost with normal profit we can add profit with normal profit with it to get the value of pc now we have to explain how to solve the numericals so before going to explain so many formulas are there we have to explain about them first of all you see i have written you will write out this formula when you calculate numericals you have to write out this formula related to the question here i am going to give you all the formula first one is tc total cost equals to tfc total fixed cost plus tbc total variable cost another way is how to find out tc average cost multiplied by the output produced output produced next one is tfc how to find out tfc tc minus tbc by interchange and how to from average concept we can find out the total concept by multiplying output next one is tdc tc minus formulas equation you will be able to calculate all the formulas okay tdc equals to tc minus tfc or tdc equals to abc into q next one is sc if we divide both the sides by q if we divide both the sides by q what will get tc by q q stands for output tc by output is sc average cost tfc by q output is average fixed cost 
in this equality we get this added variable cost. Okay. So from this formula we will be able to find out the fourth formula also. And another one is from total cost set we are going to find out the average. S equals to C by Q. Next one is AFC from this equation. By interchanging the place, AFC will be equal to AC minus ADC. Another one is TFC by Q. In this way, we can we will be able to find out the value of ADC. ADC equals to AC minus AFC. Or ADC equals to ADC by Q. And the last formula is related with AFC, that is marginal cost. Marginal cost means addition to total variable cost or total cost. Suppose I am using one level, my cost of production is 200 rupees. When I employ the second level, my cost of production will increase from 200 to 300. So how much, how much changes there are in total cost? That is rupees 100. That is 400 minus 300. That is or 300 minus 200. It is 100. That is marginal cost. Addition to total cost. Change in total cost or change in total variable cost. Both will give us marginal cost. So on the basis of this formula, we have to find out the value of, we have to solve different numericals. Okay. The first question I have written over here, you see, it is, it is output, output is denoted by Q rotation. Okay. Again I am going to write this solution. Output unit 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is rupees 50, 70, 85, 110, 150, 195, 240. And it is the solution of the question. Okay. First question to see. First of all, I am writing here output. Whatever the things will be given as unit, you have to write down that one also. This is it is given in rupees. You write down better in column wise. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 15. Next one is 70. Next one is 85. Next one is 110. Next one is 150. Next one is 195. Last one is 240. Now what are the things you have to find out AC and MC? AC, the formula I have given you, don't write down the formula over here. Just below of it, whatever formula you are using, you will write down it. Below of the table. AC equals to, I have given you just the formula, AC. AC is equals to TC by Q. So TC by Q, output is denoted by rotation Q. If you divide TC by Q, we will get AC. 50 by 0, something by 0 is 75. 70 by 1, it is 70. Next one is 85 by 2, 2 4 is 8, 2 4 is 4, 2 5 is 10. Next 110 will be divided by 3. 3 3 is 9, 3 6 is 18. 20, remainder is coming, 3, 6, 18, 36.66 like this. Next one is 115 by 4. 115 by 4, it is 4, 2, 8, 9, 10, 11, 35. 4, 7, 28, 4, 8, 32. 32, 35 minus 32, it is coming as 3. 4, 7, 28 and 4, 5, sir, 20. Let me check it once again. 4, 2, sir, 8, 9, 10, 11, 35. 4, 8, sir, 32. 33, 34, 35. Okay. Let me divide it over there. We will be able to 4, 2, sir, 8. 4, 8, sir, 32. 3, 0. 4, 7, sir, 28. 2, 0. This coming as 728.75. Next one is 5, 3, is 15, 5, 9, 45. 
Next one is 6 4 z 40. In this way, we will be able to find out the value of SC. And one more thing, we have to find out the value of marginal cost. It will be also denoted by rupees. The unit we have to put as rupees. Now, better how to find out? Zero unit of output, MC will be undefined. Why MC is undefined? Because before 50, before 50, nothing is there. We cannot find out the difference between this and this. That is why this value is undefined. That is why it will be undefined. Now, TC, N, what? What I have told you, MCN equals to TCN minus TC, N minus 1. N, if we consider N as 1, so N minus 1 will be 1 minus 1, 0, that is 70. TCN is 70 and TCN minus 1 is 50. So 70 minus 50, it is 20. 85 minus 70, 50. Next one is 10 minus 5. 25. Next one is, it is coming as 5. Next one is 195 minus 15, it is 80. Okay. Next one is 240 minus 195. 240 minus 195. How much it is coming? 145 it is seven. No, 45 it is So, in this way, we will calculate the value of AC and MC. Now, next, I am going to solve another question. I am going to solve another question. Find ABC and MC. Find ABC and MC. Find FEC and FC. The outputs are given as 0, 0, 1, 2, 3. Up to 3, the values are given. Up to 3, the values are given. And what are the values of PC given? It is 60. 60. Next one is, next one is 100. Next one is 130 and the last one is 150. We are going to solve the values. Now see, I am going to have this one. Now how many columns we have to make? The first column is output. Output with bracket, it is units. Next one is TC, the value is given as rupees. The value is given as rupees. Let me write the values 0, 1, 2, 3. It is 60, 100. 130 and 150. Now, what are the things we have to calculate ABC and MC? To calculate the value of ABC and MC, we need the value of TVC. Now, how to find out TVC? How to find out TVC? TC minus TFC. How to find out the value of TVC? Because without TVC, we will not be able to calculate the value of ABC. That is why we have to calculate extra columns. Okay, that is TBC. How to find out TBC? TC minus TFC. But here TC is given, TFC is not given. So in this equation, two unknowns, unknowns are there. One is TFC and another is TBC. So we have to convert two unknowns into one unknown. How can we do it? One criteria is there. At zero level of output, TFC stands for the cost which will be incurred, which will not vary with the level of output. Whatever the production, it is zero. Whatever cost as fixed cost I have to spend 
for if the product size is 30 unit also I have to spend the same amount. So that is why at zero level amount to TC stands for TFC. So the TC corresponding to zero will be treated as TFC. So we can write down 60 and TFC is constant. What is what the what is the full form of TFC? It is total fixed cost. Fixed cost will not vary with the level of output. At zero level of output, it will be 60. At one level of output, it will be 60. At two level of output, it is 60. And at three levels of output, it will be 60. After detail, we have to find out the value of TBC. The formula I have written over there. 60 minus 60 it is 0. 100 minus 60 it is 40. 130 minus 60 it is 70. Next one is 90. Okay. So we have got the value of TBC. Automatically, we will be able to find out the value of ABC. What is the formula? You have to write down. You have to write down the formula first. TVC by Q. TVC by Q. Something by 0 is amplified. 40 by 1, it is 40. 70 by 2, it is 35. 90 by 3, it is 30. In this way, we have got the values of TVC. And finally, it is left as MC. MC, so at zero level of output, MC will be amplified. Next one is from TVC we can calculate MC as well as from TC we can calculate MC. In both the cases, we will get the same result. 40 minus 0, it is 40. For 100 minus 60, it is 40. 70 minus 40, it is 30. For 130 minus 100, it is 30. Next one is 90 minus 70, 20, or cross verify 150 minus 130, it is 20. That is the second question. One more question, I have to solve, complete the following table. These are the questions frequently come. Okay. So, how to complete the table, I am going to explain now. Let me write down the question. Complete, complete the following, following table. First column is output units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next column is ABC. ABC Rupees, all of you see it is bank. You have to fill up the bank. Next one is 18, next one is bank, next is 20, last one is 22. Next column is given as TC, that is rupees. 60, next one is bank, next one is bank also, next one is 120, and the last one is bank. And the last column you see, MC is given as rupees. So first value is given as 20, next one is black, next one is 18, next one is black, last one is black. You have to fill up this table. Now see, MC is there, MC is there. For both of them, we need the value of TVC. So we have to take extra column also. Whatever the extra columns will be required, we have to take those extra columns. What form we have taken the column of PVC? For both the calculation of MC as well as ABC, we require TVC. Now how to find out TVC? There are different ways of there. First unit of output, MC and TVC will be equal. At first unit of output, if we find out, when we solve another question, we will see at first unit of output, MC and TBC will be equal. So for that, we can write down this value over here. Why? Because at zero level of output, TBC will be zero. So 20 minus zero, it is 20. That is why this value we have to put over here. 
Now, dvc equals to a vc into q. dvc equals to a vc into q. a vc into q. Right in to z. 36. Let me complete this one. Then easily I will be able to get all those values. Next one is this minus this equals to this. This minus this. If we consider it as x. So how to find out mc? mc equals to x it is given as 18 equals to x minus 36 which implies x equals to which implies x equals to 18 plus 36 54 how much it is coming this plus this equals to 54 next one is a b c into q 420 is at 80. 522 is at 110. After getting this one, easily you can find out these values. 36 minus 20 MCL. Let me write down the, that formula also. MCL equals to TVC M minus TVC M minus 1. Okay. Now see 36 minus 20. This 16. 80 minus 54. 26. 110 minus 80. It is 30. Okay. Next one you see. By adding you know, through subtracting this, we can get also the value of MC. This one will be this minus this equals to 16. So how much will be this value? 16 plus 16, 76. 76 plus 18, 94. Next one is 120 plus 13, it is 150. Now this colors are here. ABC, how to find out ABC? Sorry, ABC equals to TBC by Q. So TBC by Q, 20 divided by 1 equals to 20. Next one is 54 divided by 3. It is 18. Okay, that's all, student. Thank you, student.